First off, I, I'm thankful we had a really good crowd out there of K-State followers who traveled, and uh, that was um, pretty cool for me. Um, this is actually my first time in this room, so this also is kind of cool under bad circumstances. Um, and most importantly, I thought uh, Coach Mosier and his staff had did a much better job than we did of having his team prepared and uh, his guys did a great job of executing what they wanted to do. Um, and they kicked our butts, and they deserve all the credit in the world for that. And um, we did not play hard enough to deserve to win tonight. John, that's the longest we've seen you talk to your team after a loss. What did you want you guys to know? Um, well, first, I told them that I might have overreacted after the last game, like the loss of Texas Tech, um, and but that um, I feel like we, uh, we're, we're satisfied and just kind of wanted to get their feel. Like, it's, the great thing about this wonderful game we play is that, like, it's not football. We don't have to wait seven days to play again. You know, it, we get to play a next game here pretty quick. And you can get rid of the bad feeling, but you've got to like, you got to let this thing sit in a little bit. So I actually just want them to sit in the locker room because normally I want to get out quick, but I actually just want them to sit in, in it for a little while and kind of feel what it's like, you know. And um, uh, we like in this business, there's um, guys who do um, they do draft boards, right? And uh, they put kids' name on a draft board, and kids read that, and they think they're going to get drafted, right? What they don't understand is that none of the guys who do draft boards do drafting, right? And, it's, and so it's the same thing with, like, bracketology, right? Like, there's these guys out there that say certain teams are in the NCAA tournament, but none of those guys pick the teams for the NCAA tournament. And so... Uh, I mean, we, we, got, we have to win at least two more games to get to the NCAA tournament. And that was my message to them, that we got to figure this thing out because we got to win two more games to have a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. And that, that was one, one of our goals. So, Coach, was there an explanation for the defensive letdowns and not getting out on shooters? <laughs> um, no, I didn't ask for an explanation. That was pretty easy to figure out. We didn't play hard enough. Yeah. Coach Marquise obviously gets hard hedged pretty well tonight by Oklahoma. Why do you think teams are trying to do that so much against him lately? Because uh, he can't. You can't guard him one on one. Like that's. I mean, but in the first half, like he, they put two on the ball and he made the next pass. And the guy who had the ball, the next pass made the pass that led to the assists. And uh, I mean, we were able to score effectively in the first half. I mean, we scored 36 points, um, yeah, 36 in the first half. So that's that wasn't an issue. You know, we just didn't play hard enough on the defensive end to deserve to win tonight. That's that's what it boils down to. Do you think it was the worst defensive game of the season so far? It is in TCU so far. Like, like effort hadn't been an issue with our guys. Execution maybe, you know, stuff, but effort hadn't been an issue, but other than the TCU game in this game. And then David getting just two minutes, is, is he still working? He was today? sick. He was sick before the game, and uh, we weren't sure if he was going to get the start. And uh, he said he'd try to go, and he saw like he bobbled yep. the first pass and then couldn't sprint back on defense. And so, What does that do to your depth when he's unable to play? I, it, it always hurts when you don't have somebody on the rope, you know. So. You said you felt like this was the worst effort defensively that your team has had this season. You've talked about effort a few times. Why do you think the effort lacked a little bit tonight? I don't know. That's, I'm going to go figure it out. If I knew that answer, I'd have done it at halftime and we'd had a chance to win. Did you feel like you largely got the turnover issue, um, maybe not solved, but in hand? I think our guys um, understand that we have to do a better job of that, and they tried. Right, I don't, I don't. Fourteen turnovers is still too many. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, yeah, that's there was other glaring things that stood out today more than that. As you get deeper into the Big Twelve season, <coughs> is part of these games getting harder? Just going against coaches who've seen you and scouted you and know your tendencies a little bit better now. 
<laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody's getting scouted right now. And um, teams are doing a really good job of loading up on our two best players, and we have to do a better job of manipulating the defense to help them be a little bit more effective. But anytime you're going, you know, in this league, man, we just got so many really good coaches and uh, if you and, and good teams. And if you don't play hard enough, right, like you could play, do a lot of good things and still lose. But if you don't play hard, you never have a chance to win. And we didn't give ourselves a chance to win tonight. The fact that you didn't shoot it well from the perimeter, did that allow them to, to maybe collapse more on, did you think, on Naquan and... No, we just didn't throw the ball to Naquan and Bebe enough in the second half. That's all. From a coaching perspective, how frustrating is it to have to maybe coach the idea of playing hard and effort at this point in the season? Yes. I mean, you never want to have to coach that, especially with a bunch of older guys. And so, you know, just got to – they're a new group together, and we're going to figure this thing out. You know, I mean, like I said, we don't have to wait seven days to play again. And um, they've been done a really good job all year long of bouncing back. And um, so, you know, I, this, this is like, um, it's disappointing, but it's it's not like disheartening. You know, like we, we're going to. We're going to figure this thing out because we have really good dudes in their locker room and they care. You know, the care factor is high. And uh, everybody's going through different things at different times. Um, like, you know, nobody cares that David was sick and nobody cares that this person is dealing with that or the other. All the things that every team in the country is dealing with right now. And, and so th those are just things that you have to work through. And it's part of being in this, the best league in America and, and having a chance, you know, to play in the NCAA tournament. How happy were you with, with Nate Collin and, and Baby in the first half? The man, I was pleased. I was pleased with the team making the plays to get them the ball. Like, it wasn't like they were making those plays on their own, right? Their teammates were making the right pass, which led to the pass that got them. So I was pleased with how we moved the ball in, in the first half. You think Keontae saw the floor better than he has in, all, all season, maybe in that first half? A few passes seem to be really difficult. I don't know. I was too caught up in how he wasn't playing defense. So I have to look at that. He didn't turn over as much today, so that was better.